In Stacking Up today, Todd Bubba Horwitz is here to talk about his trades of the day. And good to have you on the show. It's always great to be here with you. Thank you very much. Let's start with what you think could potentially be a hot play here now. It's Bed Bath & Beyond. Earnings are coming out. What do you see happening here? Well, if we look at the retail sector, first of all, it's been truly beaten down. And most of the retail stocks have been beaten down. Bed Bath & Beyond has been under a lot of pressure. It has come off the near-term bottom, which is around 42 or 43 now, but I think there's a lot more room to go to the upside. They've become a really great company after they solved their problems from a few years ago and are now, to me, it's just an outright buy here looking at it because I think that the potential has already been built in for bad earnings. So even if the earnings are slightly bad, I think the stock still rallies. If they come out good, I think the stock explodes. Are there any other names in the retail sector that you're keeping an eye on? You know, I, I look at, you know, I, I keep an eye on, on Macy's as far as the retail sector, but as a, as a rule, I'm really more of a spot player and I'll look for certain things. The retail sector, if I see something real beaten down, I'll look at it if I think it has a chance to come back. Let's talk about Netflix because you're still beating the I'm drum. I'm banging that this. Netflix you, drum. You're banging the drum. He thinks it's going to be a takeover target. Well, I, I really believe that their model is great. I don't think they have, I don't even think Hastings and the company has enough money to really execute their strategy, which is why I always called them the next blockbuster, because I thought they'd go out of business. But now, there's some t slight takeover talk. I think Apple needs to make a big play, so I think they might come after Netflix, which already was rumored a couple of weeks ago. But now Disney has also made a big commitment to Netflix on licensing. Disney's got to do something good now because of some of the problems they suffered. Plus, this would be a great spot for them to get all their content on as a regular basis. So I think Netflix, although under some pressure, gets bought out somewhere in here. And from always wanting to short Netflix, I will no longer short it. I'm only looking for spots to buy it. You were you were a big shorter of Netflix for a while there. Yes, I was. Okay, good to have you on the show. Thank you very Pleasure much. Pleasure to be here. Okay, we're Thank done. You.